Today we are going to talk about E pills and mostly people call them P2, but you need to know that P2 is just one of the pills. We have so many of them, but uh, they all work toward the same goal, preventing you from getting pregnant. Now in this video, you're going to see how they work and why mostly they fail. Now, before you even get there, you have to understand that this is an emergency pill. So you only have to take this because of an emergency situation. So this is not a bad control pill. If your plan is to control birth, we have other methods you can use, but P2 is purely, no, I'm calling it P2 because this is what people usually call them, but emergency pills, they are there to make sure you don't get pregnant because of a situation that came about due to either when you had unprotected sex, which was not planned, or maybe uh, there was a failed barrier method, maybe the condom that you're using broke, or maybe whatever method that you're using did not work as expected. So you need to take that to prevent you from uh, getting that pregnancy. Or other non-consensual sexual activities like uh, rape cases and uh, defilements. So they all fall there. So don't take this thing regularly. It disrupts the whole of your cycle. So you just only need to take this only when necessary. Now let's see how e-pills work. Now we have four major ways. You are going to look at them. But you have to know that uh, majorly they work differently. We have different uh, pills working differently. But majorly they agree in all these four steps. Now we have one which is preventing or uh, delaying the ovulation. Now ovulation is the release of the egg from the ovary uh, and then it will cross uh, all the way to the uterus through the oviduct. Now that fallopian tube, what I'm calling oviduct, is where now fertilization takes place. Now if you're not going to get that ovulation, it means you're not going to have an egg that will be fertilized, meaning that the sperms will come and stay there and die. So the sperms will come and they're not going to get any egg to fertilize, so you're not going to get pregnant because they usually die close to around five days. Now, this is usually done by inhibiting the action of luteinizing hormone. Uh, luteinizing hormones usually make that egg to mature in the ovary so that now it will be ready for fertilization. So if you inhibit that, it means that now this action will not take place. And uh, the action of this e-pill will wear off, meaning that now ovulation will take place after the luteinizing hormone can now work again, meaning you have delayed that ovulation. Now you stopped that ovulation and then you delayed according to how long that drug is going to be in the body. Then after that, then ovulation will take place and you can get pregnant again. Now, this is why mostly when you take this e-pill, it usually disrupt your menses. Now the second method they usually employ to make sure you don't get pregnant is by altering the movement of the ova and the sperms. Now you see, from the ovary, the egg has to move all the way through the oviduct to the uterus. Now uh, along that pipe, now the one that you're calling oviduct, uh, the other name is uh, fallopian tube, we have hair-like structure that usually flap forward to push the egg through the oviduct. Now, if you alter this movement, it means that they are not going to push the egg. Even if it was released, it means that it's not going to move forward to the, uh, to the uterus. And also at the same time, they alter the movement of the sperms. You see, the sperms will have to swim by wagging their tails and moving forward. If this movement is inhibited, it means that um, either they are going to be very slow and also remember our egg is somewhere kind of not moving very well because also the movement was altered it means it's just there so it's going to take a really long period of time for them to meet meaning by the time that they are meeting the time for the sperms will have expired it goes for even five days so this time uh, the sperms will have died off and uh, there will be nothing to fertilize now that method is by creating a barrier between uh, the uterus and the vaginal canal. Now, this is done by increasing the mucus content around the cervix. Now, this is the entry point. If you increase um, that mucus plug, it means that it will take a lot of effort for the sperms to swim across, and this creates a barrier, meaning that you're not going to get pregnant because now the sperms will have to pass through the cervix to go to the uterus and then move all the way to the fallopian tube for uh, this fertilization. So when you cut them off at the cervix, it means that you're now limiting their entry so there will be no fertilization. The fourth method usually target when you're already having a fertilized egg, meaning that there was a successful meeting between uh, the egg and the sperms and you already have that egg which is fertilized and it's moving toward now attachment in the uterus meaning that you're going to have that pregnancy now the function here will be to make it inhabitable now inhabitable not habitable 
for the fertilized egg. So if we make the wall not habitable, it means that it's not going to attach itself in the wall and uh, that fertilized egg will not get the nutrients so there will be no formation of the, um, of the placenta meaning that it will just die off and you are going to resume your cycle as usual. Now let's go to the reasons why these emergency pills fail. Now they fail because of several reasons and I'm going to point out eight which are the major ones and uh, we are going to start off with the day that you took that pill. If the activity was done today and uh, the pill indicates that uh, you should take that within three days and then you take that after four days or even five days, the chances reduces drastically. You'll have to, when you buy that, uh, that drug, there is an insert inside there. So you need to take it out and read because you have so many types of the e-pills. We have P2, EC2, there are so many. So you'll have to take it out and see how many days they usually say it works. But this is a baseline. The closer to the activity, the better. So if it was done today, uh, maybe you take that tomorrow, it would be way, way better. But now the effects diminishes with time. Now there's a higher chance of the person who is the farthest from the activity getting pregnant compared to the person who took it closer to when the sexual activity took place. The second method is taking this pill when you already have the ovulation. If ovulation takes place and the pill that you're taking works by inhibiting luteinizing hormone, it means that that pill will not work because now you already have luteinizing hormone working and there was maturation of the ova and uh, it was released. Now it's in the oviduct, meaning that that action will not take place and you're definitely going to get pregnant because now you already have a viable egg. So even if you take that pill, it's not going to do anything at this point. It's supposed to work best when you take it before ovulation. The third reason is uh, the body type. Now you see, you take that drug via the mouth. So you swallow that and then it gets absorbed in your walls through the stomach, through the intestines, to your blood to go and affect the hormones or whatever function they are supposed to work. Now, where does the body type come in? Now, uh, remember most of the pills, all the pills actually, they are estrogen based unless maybe you have uh, other types in the future. Estrogen is affected by the contents of the fat that you have, meaning that if you have a BMI that is okay, you are overweight or maybe you are obese, anything above 25, you're going to affect this because most of it will be reserved or will be absorbed by the fat, meaning that the actual um, drug that will be available for the action will be lesser than what is required to do the action. Now, if you are overweight or obese, this might not function as expected because of now the effect of uh, the fat when it comes to the estrogen. Now, reason number four is other drugs. In case you're taking other drugs which have um, effects on this e-pill, that means that it might not function as expected because we have drugs which are antagonistic, meaning that you take them, they are going to suppress the action of this. Remember, uh, the e-pill is estrogen-based and if you take something like a testosterone, maybe you are trying to manage an issue with the estrogen dominance. If you're taking that, that's an antagonist, meaning that is going to reduce or even stop the effect of this estrogen in your body and uh, it's definitely not going to work. Now the obvious one, vomiting. If you take that pill and then vomit, it means that most of the content were thrown out and uh, you're not going to get the amount of drug that will be required to be functional. Meaning if you so happen to vomit, it's either you take another pill or maybe you change that pill to something else because you see you'll have to uh, attain a certain drug uh, amount in your blood for this effect to take place. The reason number six is having sex already after taking the pill. Now, if you take the pill, it means it's working toward preventing you from getting pregnant from a sexual activity that you've already done. Take for example, it's preventing the movement or maybe reducing the movement of the sperms. Now, if you add more sperms there, it means now the action of the drug will be upon uh, or will be overwhelmed. It means that um, now you have more sperms that are not being acted on by the drug. Now, it means that those which are not affected will move and they'll go all the way to uh, the uterine cavity and recent here. Here, in the uterine cavity, they move all the way to the oviduct. This is the fallopian tube where now the fertilization will take place. Now remember, we also have an egg which is stalling. 
Meaning, it's just there trying to struggle moving. You remember we talked about the cilia trying to flap the egg forward. Now, because it's not working, the egg is there. So you are now increasing the chances of you getting a topic pregnancy. I'm not saying this is a causative effect. This is a risk. It can happen this way. Now, if uh, you had more sperms compared to this, it means that maybe you're increasing the chance of getting pregnant. And uh, this is the reason why you should not have sex. After you take that pill, just give it time to work and then maybe you can continue the barrier methods because like we said, don't take the pills regularly. They affect your body negatively. The reason number seven is buying a fake drug. Now you might find that uh, that drug looks exactly like the original one, but this is fake and maybe it might be a placebo, meaning it doesn't have the actual active components. And when you take this, it's not by default, it's not going to work as the original one, meaning that you're definitely going to get pregnant. Now, the reason number eight is when you take that pill when you're already pregnant. Now, when you're pregnant already, it means that there was a successful penetration of the sperms of the way to the oviduct and uh, the egg was met and there was fertilization and they moved all the way down to the uterine wall and there was an implantation. When that happened, this drug would not work at all unless maybe you are planning to do an abortion, which this drug does not. So if you take this you when you're already pregnant, it's not going to affect your pregnancy at all. Uh, it will be just a wasted pill and uh, yeah, disrupting your hormones a little bit. It's not going to do anything at all. In conclusion, this is an e-pill. It means that you're only going to take this in emergency cases only. Don't take it more than three times in a year. Make it minimal and actually even make it none because it's not the best thing to have. It disrupts so many activities in your body. So just stay away from this. Don't take it when it's not necessary and when it's not an emergency. If you're gaining value, give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and don't leave the bell. Make sure you hit that bell so that every time I upload something interesting, you get to be notified fast. See you in the next video.